guys, it's Sunday and we are getting things done around the house this morning and then this afternoon we are planning on going to a local safari for the first time ever. So I think it's called Harmony Park Safari and it's like a drive through safari so it sounds like it's going to be very interesting so I thought I'd take you along for a day in the life today. Um, but I'm finishing getting all of the fall things out that I'm going to put out and I'm going to take the bins to the garage. We've been finishing sorting out the playroom and organizing the closet in there so I'll show you that and then also I need to give the house a quick vacuum and um, just finish you know everything like laundry and things like that for the week so we did get some more food that I just picked up this morning from uh, the Walmart pickup um, and I didn't do a haul or anything but it, just to fill in for the week for lunches it was mainly my husband's stuff like lunch stuff for him ginger ale etc so the normal stuff but uh, I'm gonna go kind of get some more laundry put together <laughs> and here's another vlogger, Natalie. And there's another vlogger, Natalie. They did some videos for their channel this morning. You excited? Yeah? <laughs> Are you doing a dance party? <laughs> uh, so they were excited to kind of get the playroom more set and be able to do some videos for their channel. Yeah. So I'm carrying these bins back to the garage. Natalie's helping me by opening the door. And I'm going to get them back on the storage shelf out there. So this is our storage area here in the garage where all of our holiday decor items are. That's just an empty box. It needs to go out to the trash this week. But here, oh, it's empty, but it's still awkward. Um, here is where all the Halloween stuff goes. And I may still pull a couple things out. That's all Thanksgiving stuff. So I'm going to wait till I pull down the Halloween stuff and then fill in some of that Thanksgiving stuff. So it goes the same as I've had it at pretty much every other house. I have just like extra storage along the top um, for baskets and things like that. But then I have um, Valentine's Day. There's a birthday bin that kind of got extra stuff put in it when we moved. Um, there is a springtime bin, a July bin, a um, Halloween, Halloween, and then a little bit of a Halloween overflow and Thanksgiving. And then this is Christmas on down here. So there are a couple bins on the sides that I um, have got to um, get over here in these spots. And then this just has like loose decor in it. So like you can see my cauldron sitting up there, which I don't think I'm going to put out this year because I had it sitting in the floor. <laughs> and Mr. Penguin, I think, will get into it. So I think I'm going to forgo the broom and the cauldron this year. Um, but I do have two signs I can bring in up there. And that's my Christmas tree. But th these boxes just have like the loose decor, kind of like these book bins and stuff like that, that I set in between the series of two bins. So it's mainly Christmas, just to be honest. There's a little bit of Halloween in there. Uh, but once Christmas time rolls around, all those bins will be empty too. Nine, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, <laughs> 4, 3, 2, 1. Me and Natalie some popcorn. She's gonna watch the My Little Pony while I finish putting the boxes outside. Here you go. Thank you, Mom. So I'm gonna go upstairs. There were a bunch of empty boxes and things we were getting out of the playroom. So I'm gonna go and kind of finish that up. These bins had different items in them, and we emptied these out. So I'm gonna take these down to the garage since those are empty, and then that's just some recycling. And the girls just did a tour of their. American Girl House over on their channel. This is kind of a work in progress. I want to get it set back up in stations like we've had our playroom before. So right now all the dress up stuff is over here except the actual dress up items are not over here. Isabella has taken all of them and put them in her room which is right across the hallway. So I need to pull those back over here. But I'd like to have like a Welly Wisher space and then like the 18 inch doll space which is over there. Both girls have been super in to the 18 inch doll stuff lately. So that's kind of like what their focus has been with playing. And then over here, as it gets colder into the winter months and we're wanting to watch TV more, um, our TV, the small one, literally right before we moved, it just stopped turning on. So we just took it to recycling center for electronics. So we're gonna get a different TV for up here, probably sometime midwinter when it starts to become like, you know, we're inside more. 
And then I want to find like some little bean bag chairs for over here. So this is all kind of in flux over here as well. I need to find you're another. Reading that's your reading spot. They have their two little reading buddies here. So they sit on those a lot. I'm going to get another desk chair for in here because we have an extra desk now because we got that green one in Isabella's room. So we just rolled the desk chair down there. So I'm going to find a different desk chair for this desk in here. Um, because they do use this workspace as well. But they've got their bookshelf over here with all their games and everything. This is actually empty, so I could probably put games in there if I wanted to and just make that bookshelf space. And then these are just extra. So we didn't necessarily intend for those to end up here. They just did because we had them at the last houses. They didn't really have a home <laughs> at this house. So they ended up here in this closet. Um, and I'll show you that closet in a minute. But they... <laughs> What are you doing, Nelly? <laughs> but they, um, and she's over. And, um, so I just put them here for temporary storage. I don't think any of this is going to stay like this. But that is giraffe. So things take a little bit longer, obviously, when you're working full time and you're not here a long, a long parts of the day. Um, I don't have as much time to kind of research what I like and all that sort of stuff. And,. I'm going to redo Isabella's room. I still need to find her a dresser for her room. Um, sitting chair for our room. So there's a long list of things that will just get done over the next year or so. Hopefully I'll have it done by this time next year. Check it and see. But anyhow, what I worked on was organizing this closet, getting everything kind of set and put up here. So there's some extra American Girl items over here. Here's all of their like holiday supplies for decorating the dollhouse for the holidays. Um, some extra things put back up there. Um, there's our extra computer which we don't have set up right now. Some extra comforters put down there and then just some extra things like school year keepers and um, Isabella's pin collection and things like that. So this is kind of just where extra stuff has come to have a home. And stuff like the comforters, I don't get rid of those because Sometimes they go through phases where, you know, they decide they want that comforter again. I usually try to keep it to a minimum of like, you know, a couple. Right now she's got a lighter quilt because those are super heavy. We bought both of those up north, I think. Um, so they're super heavy uh, and way too hot for summer here. So right now she's just got a light quilt. So this is way better than it was. I think that I showed it on some older videos what this looked like. But we've just been leaving the door open because there's an extra air conditioner thing in there. So... What I kind of envision is possibly me moving that over there at some point because all this stuff could honestly get condensed down. If I did put all of those things here, then all the books would fit on there. Either that or just getting like a longer, some sort of storage thing that could go over here and house all the storage. Um, and then bring those toy bins Hello. right here. Hello. And then we'd have 18 inch doll stuff, Wally Wisher in the middle of the room, and then a dress up station. So they do do stuff like these building items. Um, we have a lot of toys from like um, Lakeshore Learning and Learning Resources. It's like this Panda building set. They do do these kinds of things a lot. So I almost kind of need like a longer, like long low bookshelf that's like double this length to like have like a learning section and then. Like that right there is actually so they can put it down on the floor and then build on top of it. Or they could do it up there on the desk. So anyhow, long story short, it is a work in progress. But looking way, way better. And it is a pretty day outside. But holy cow, it is hot this week. It is like 95 degrees today, I think. Oh boy. It is hot. Dan's down there edging the yard, and it's a nice, pretty clear day, but this really super hot. This one's in sloth mode today. <laughs> What's up, Isabella? I'm trying to make new recipes. You're trying to make new recipes? Oh, eggs and cocoa. Ugh. So thanks to Shark for sending this, this all new Duo Clean Powered Lift Away Apex Vacuum Cleaner. It is supposed to be amazing for hair, dog hair, and just cleaning in general. So we're excited to check this out and I'll let you know how it does. So I got this all put together and it's actually pretty cool because you can, right now we have a canister and a regular vacuum and this actually does both. So that's really cool because you can just 
pop this right on the top and then it slides back together and you can use it like a regular vacuum or then you can pop that off and carry it like a canister and then use the wand portion to get underneath furniture. So I'm going to give this a go. It is pretty heavy, um, but it has all kinds of attachments. And also one of the things that it has is it has this pet attachment here. I've got to figure out how to get everything unattached. It's got this pet attachment that you can use. I think it would be really handy for stairs and corners and, and, uh, all kinds of tight areas. So this has got a motorized head on this too. So I'm excited to try this out and see how it does around the house. So I've got this all wrapped up. I'm gonna go change my shoes. We're kind of switching gears, getting a little snack, and then we're gonna go head to the safari. walking area. Oh wow. They're like right here. It's literally the most interesting off-roading. I know there's pigs everywhere. Oh hi. Hi. Oh hi. I want I want to touch it. The llama. They just came over there like hey you got food. I gotta go. Save that. I need a llama. Drama. Mama, unbuckle me. Unbuckle me. Save for the llama. Mommy, unbuckle me. She's like, I have the treats. I want the animal treats. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, Larry, you still buckle a little bit? Yeah, she needs her button push. Oh, hi. He's like, I don't oh, have any more. Hi there. Hi. 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 Hi.
Notice the pig on the ground here to the right. It's a baby pig. It's a baby Give pig. Give it food. Give the baby pig food. There is oh, also a geyser a and geyser? log cabin house in the middle of the animals. No, it's just a buffalo. It is a buffalo. He's like, oh, you got well, me. If we go that me. way, I think it loops around and we're going to have to Look, deal with this thing again. Food. More likely it is that something's coming up to you. <laughs> All right. Okay. I mean, that's what it wants. Well, don't give it too much, baby. Oh. Holy cow. Here you go. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. 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 oh, no. Oh, I just had a buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, a buffalo drool on my Jeep. <laughs> Ah, Bella. Oh no. Ah, I agree with them. The world is in danger. Hi. But you just keep dropping it all over the bottom of the car. And... Okay, this one's got a lot of ostriches in it. Mind Please you? stay still for yeah, a while. Yeah, there's a zebra. <gasps> a zebra. Over there. Whoa, is what you should call it. Yeah. <laughs> Here comes a horse. It's molting. A molting sheep. Look, Belle. What the? Whoa, oh, he's getting in the water. An alligator. Holy cow. Look oh. at those flexible tailbones. Holy moly. Sorry. The tail. That's cool. Holy and moly. And the alligators. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah. Yeah, we're almost there. I see a zebra, and there's a giraffe to the right. Here comes the zebra with an ostrich chasing after it. What did the zebra do? Come on, zebra, get your food. I guess not only, Come but on, if you're coming up here, oh, it's gonna be good. Come on, I brought my fidget. Well, don't let the animal get a hold food. of a fidget spinner, Natalie. Yeah, no, you need to keep that thing. There's the food cup. Got some food. Woo! Oh, sorry. Woo! It's down there. Well, you can just hold your hand can out. Can you open can I? the window, Daddy? Here, do you want a little bit more, Bill? He just whinnied at us. Hi, buddy. Oh, oh. I got right. some. That's it. Keep your fingers back. Well, you're going to have to go over there. It's not coming over here. Oh, well, now away? I've seen a real life peacock before. There's the giraffe over there. But what's in there? There's those, the, what are they called? Like centaur? Oh, the goat! Oh, so hello, nice. llama. <laughs> Humans are so mean! Save that drama for somebody else. <laughs> hey! Yes, I hey. get it. Mama, I mama. Can't. Mama, mama, ah, mama, I got some food over here. Mama, it's over here. He's quite gonna get that though. That stick is a wild. Why does it say that? Because they're extinct. Well, he's down, down in the grass. See you the, see him? Where are my fingers pointing? Oh, look. <laughs> I've got both sticks on my lap. Oh my god. Oh. See, he's trying to reach his neck he's over like, and get to the leaves. Oh. The deer thing. There we go. I'm feeding the giraffe because he's so sad. Articulated giraffe. I saved my food for the giraffe. Hi, giraffe. So this is Hello. How's it going? How's it going, little buddy? Like tasty, tasty. He's like, oh, look at that. What is that? Oh, he's trying to. And stop the cart. I want to stop the cart. Ah. 
can't Use reach. your tongue, giraffe. It's like 21 inches long. You should be able to reach. I better you stick them. Well, we tried with the giraffe. We tried and we tried and we tried. Mm -hmm. we tried. Oh! <laughs> Come on, Mama. No feeding. I still have to feed. <laughs> Oh, you are a quick eater. Oh, no. <laughs> He's in a hurry. He's like, oh, go. You go to the boot? Uh, <laughs> I want to feed it. All right, well, you better scoot your body over. I know what. Oh, turtles. Oh, here's little uh, crocodiles. Alabama alligators, these were born here at the safari. There's a bunch of them. Wow. Ooh, it's shedding its skin. It's shedding its skin. <laughs> Nile crocodile eats anything. <laughs> Can you toss him another one? Toss it, Bella. Oh. We're just gonna get a toss. Yay! Here, both of you toss so that the little one can get some too. We're gonna go feed some tortoises real quick. Can I get wow. a That is an alligator snapping turtle properly. Oh, look at those. And there's more turtles. Honey, there's more over there. I want it big tortoise. And these two are fighting over this lettuce over here. Drop it. Just toss it at him. There you go. These guys look like they're still hungry. 108 and 560 pounds. Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the ostriches were I doing. I want to get it. <laughs>